of sports' most historic franchises. Generations of fans have come through the cold night air so many times as they have tonight to Toronto to see another opening face-off nearing for the Maple Leafs. Greetings, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro coming up. I'm Mike Embrick, and we are dealing with a team tonight that has had a lot of losing, and a lot of it lately. And we were around them some this morning. What did you take away? Well, I could see why, Doc. The way that they were carrying themselves, not only inside the locker room, but also talking to us in the media. And I think you got to have a positive attitude about coming to the rink and not talking about the things that have happened in the past. So this is a team that needs a quick turnaround as far as the mental approach to get out of this losing streak. The Maple Leafs' attitude must change with the first drop of the puck. The definition of attitude is the direction in which one leans, and for this team, they better be leaning all over the opposition. Okay, so let's look at the starting goaltenders for the game. Anderson's the man with the heaviest equipment and responsibility tonight for the Maple Leafs. It's a terrific season for him. The numbers have been impressive, and how he got to them has been, too. Let's see how he does here. Murray's the other union rep among the goaltenders trade for the Penguins. This is a season you dream about if you're a goalie. Notice the numbers and then let's just watch him play. Somehow Sidney Crosby has elevated his game again in the last 18 months. Among the league's best players since the day he broke in in his first NHL game, he is a dominant performer. Enormous collision. Latang's a player that always reacts positively to a physical game. This time, he's tried to set the tone early with a good hit. Puck grab, they've got it ready. Play is stopped. There is a signal. We just wanted to see who it is he's taking off. Crosby's headed to the penalty box. A minor for tripping. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck and took the legs out from the attacking player. Toronto's initial attempt on the power play. The Penguins with a face-off win. And that's a good job taking the pressure off. Pitching it to Condry. Enormous hit. I saw that play coming from a mile away. One-timer. Oh, he got that. Pittsburgh's minor is for charging. Too many strides taken, Doc, while making contact. The Penguins have looked like a perfect hockey team over the last 10 games. Whether it's their special teams, their five-on-five five play, their goaltending, they've had the answer to any question any opponent has put to them. They want to play as aggressively as they can tonight, Doc, because their opponents have really struggled. What a hit! Pittsburgh's leaving the defensive zone. The power play unit has to recoil and try yet again. Let's it go. Outstanding save. What magic even to get there and get the shot off. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. Oh, and he is drilled. Pittsburgh's cleared. A lot of work, but penalty time less and less now. Moving it now through the neutral zone. A shot. Hangs on to that one, and he'll see a face-off right near him. The Penguins are shorthanded yet again, and it's the same player time and time again who takes the penalty. He leads the league in penalty minutes, and while that's fine if he got all fights, he puts his team shorthanded again. Pittsburgh's gotten it back out. They check the clock, get ready to defend. He's in on an onside play. Good place to shoot from. Score! They have struck early in this one. Kadri skating got him to the front of the net and was able to put in that second chance opportunity. Murray's rebound control hasn't been great over the last little while. This is another one. It's just sitting there, ready to be pounced upon. 
The Maple Leafs now have a one goal lead in the first period. Perhaps they can build on this and carry something sizable to the dressing room. Solid win at center ice. Now a wonderful block. Good shooting place. Waffle boarded. Passing one off now to Marlowe. Good body contact. And it's lifted back out of trouble. Bodied off the puck. Chip to Brown. Oh, and he missed the net. When the puck sounds hard, when it hits the end boards. A Score! A power play goal yet again. I love how he put himself in a position to really get a lot on that shot. Where was the defensive zone coverage there? The goaltender looked pretty surprised here, Enzo. Good delivery of the puck beats him on the low stick side. Just a hair under four minutes have passed. The Leafs have widened their lead. It's now two goals. To Brown. Brown's looking to add to his two assist game so far. He's been creating chance after chance for his teammates. Tries to get it on net. Oh, stick save. Two guys together with force. Big force. Crosby's paddled aside. Puck covered. Whistle blown. Got possession. Can't get a shot on. One into another. After he picks himself up, he's got to go get his helmet. It's spinning on the ice like a top. Flings it. They score! It's only a one-goal game now. Anderson's quick reactions, Enzo, aren't enough. That's a beautiful shot up over his shoulders into the top of the net. The Penguins gotten this back to a close one. They needed this one. They were not playing very well to this point. Toronto's collected another victory on the faceoff. Assisted by number 34, Tom Gathered in by Mark. With no time whatsoever, he turned it aside. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. The Penguins have gotten out of their own end. Gains the zone. You could almost count that one, but no. Laid on to Martin. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. The Penguins in their own end in possession. The Maple Leafs continue to probe up the wing. And possession has changed. Brilliant move on that pass. Puck loose now picked up. Let's it go. Freezes play. Well, you know he's happy, guys. He's sitting there on the bench. He's got a couple of goals in his back pocket already. But you know he's thinking about number three. What an achievement that would be to bang in one more. Good face-off win. He had a great chance, but he has just missed the net. He's just going to shake his head. Yeah, he rocketed that shot wide, but it missed by 15 feet. And offside is called on the play. The Penguins want to be an aggressive team, and this player has among the highest hit totals in the league. Sometimes I wonder if he even looks at the puck. Just a tad under eight minutes remaining. The Leafs have just sacrificed a goal. Their lead has been cut in half. Outstanding offense met by solid goaltending. Pittsburgh's players are cutting a wide circle around him these days. They don't want to throw his routine off. It's amazing how superstitious players can get. And when you have one that's on such a significant point scoring streak, nobody wants to upset the apple cart. Off the faceoff, he ties his man up, and so the puck goes to his team. Great job on a cut pass. Looking to Marlowe. Oh, did he ever get mashed? No, no, he's alone. Star! Castle!
especially in the offensive zone. If you want to isolate a defender, you got to get people moving over to the puck carrier to give him more options. That's exactly what happened on this play. Goalies hate getting beaten up over the glove side. They think they're in position, and they feel that they can catch just about anything. Not this time. The Penguins with a center ice face-off win. Number 81, Phil Kessel. Slid to Hornquist. Has it picked up. Pitching this one to Cole. Toronto's up the wing, controlling play now. Right near the line, can he keep it going? Puck is grabbed by Evgeny Malkin. Pass attempt to Ruido. Gets in, and he'll look over his options. Stood up there. And now it's directed to Brown. You don't take a knee in hockey, just football. He lost it. Pass cut, moving it to Lupo. Looking to headman up the wing. Picked up by Kadri. Oh, what a hit. That slowed things down. Goalie to the bench, arms still in the air. Substitution made. One timer, lightning in that glove. Pass cut, strong play. Alexiak sent to the box, two minutes for boarding. These are the type of plays, Doc, that we want to eliminate from the game where the attacking player has no chance to protect himself when getting hit from behind. The Maple Leafs power play unit has been productive, scoring twice. Will this be the third one? Beat him on that one. One timer got in front of another one. Terrific stop for right in front of the net, but you gotta find a way to put the puck in the net. Down to the last 43. And this play is whistled down. It is offside. Kessel's had an outstanding season. Every time it seems he gets a chance to score, he's able to finish it. And that's all with being the focus of the other team. It's a face-off win. May not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. Shoots it off. Desperate save. He covers and holds on. Pittsburgh's coaches have been prodding them to play a more consistent brand of hockey. And while that's been a struggle at times, for the most part, they've been as good as anybody. They continue to put points in the bank even when they don't have their A game doc. As a result, they lead the league in points. And he is reefed. Oh, that is a bone crusher, Doc. He went right over top of him. That hit was delivered with intent. Mata's doing everything he can, guys, to get back to the bench after that hit. And he's hammered. Fires. Save. Oh, great cut. The first period has come to an end. Both teams got some confidence from scoring. It's 2-2. Present your ticket stub from tonight's game and receive up to 10% off of your meal at Bunsville Burgers Family Restaurant. Kessel's goal was special because it tied the game. That's why you're seeing it again as we had to break. begun with one team still short some carryover time left puck is thrown to Nylander nicely into the zone slips in terrific glove save the Penguins through the neutral zone have control terrific poke check to break up that odd man rush the Leafs go back so that they can come back on this power play. Snapping a pass to Gardner. Knocked to a knee, it's loose. Clock bleeding down on the power play. Trying to go to Riley. It's an onside play. Takes it right back. Bad luck, broken stick. 
What a terrific opportunity. Gathered up by Hornquist. The Penguins are back even. Full strength action, the penalty kill. The successful power play earlier looked like it was schemed really well, and either the penalty killers changed the way they were going about their business. Got a piece of that one. And he shoots one. Score! The defense was a step slow, not able to get in front of that long wrist shot. Anderson's in the butterfly trying to take away the percentages, but he doesn't cover the net. The Penguins have broken the tie, and we're still in the second period. Much uncertainty about which way this game's going to go. The draw the tie up, and his team prevails. Oh, and he's hammered. Got his stick on it. Held there for a face-off coming up next. Don't miss out on any of our remaining games. We do have great seats available. Tickets are available. Just under three minutes have elapsed here in the second. We had a tie game until just moments ago. It's a one-goal contest. Good job on the draw. That puck is loose. A good defensive play. The Maple Leafs control the play at center. Makes that play deep. To Ruido. Smart recovery by Brown. Around through the corner. And angled to Cole. Good use of the stick. Broke that pass up. Moved along and in. Looks ahead to start something. Fires. Score! Off the iron and in. The shooter had a couple of different options here. He could pass or shoot. He decided on the ladder and beat the goaltender clean. The goaltender thinks he's in great shape here to make the save. This is a perfect shot delivered to the inside of the goal post. Sometimes you get the bounce, sometimes you don't. This time, the shooter got it. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. Assisted by number 81. Hammers it. You can almost count that one, but no, what a save. Pass cut by the offense. <laughs> Propelled the carrot. Good job with the stick. Just a backhand. Great glove save, but it's loose. Out to the point. Blockered away. To the point. Outstanding save. Difficult opportunity. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. Let's go, Arister. Great save. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Grabbed! Oh, he thought he had him on the glove side. The Penguins' center of offense is this player. He has among the highest total points in the league. He has such creativity. If it's not him scoring the goal, he's so good to play with as his wingers just have to get open. Nice face-off work. To Matthews. He is shut right off. Oh, big hit, Doc. I can hear it right from where I'm standing. He looked like he wanted to go right through him. And it's a good pickup. Oh, I'll bet they had his number before the game. They sure hit it. Enormous collision. Good use of the stick. Broke that pass up. Gets in. What'll he do? Oh, and the pass wouldn't go. Directing that one to Horton. Slot shot. What a save. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. Just a little over six minutes to go in the period. Just recently another goal, and so the lead is two. Clean win on the draw. Into the end of attack. Save! Gets it in a good place. Oh, broke it up! Knocked right off the stick. To 
Oh, what a job done there to keep the pressure on. Good key. Skates it down the wall. Oh, what a hit. He's got it. The Penguins continue on at center. Shoots one. Puck covered, whistle blown. Horton's skating ability gets him into position here to deliver a crushing hit. Face-off win here with a shot. Loose puck knocked away by Codry. Off the mark. Oh, man, he looked skyward after that shot. What a rocket he let go. He just missed the net. Pitching it to Lupo. Passing one off now to Kadri. He's been on fire tonight. Two goals already. His teammates would love to see him get that HT done. Free puck off a defender. Good blocked. Through the neutral zone. That play goes offside. Pittsburgh's goaltending has been solid all year. When you look back at that last huge save, you know why. The Maple Leafs control at center ice. And they are in. Great shooting lane. Terrific save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at, and he made it tough. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. Pretty routine stop. You can see why everybody learns the butterfly when they're a young kid. Takes away the bottom of the net. We've played two periods here of a three-period game. The best part of the day is coming up. Through two periods, here are the shots on goal. Get ready. 25 for the Penguins and 18 for the Maple Leafs. The good old days of hockey are back. Pittsburgh's strength has been in goal scoring, and this one gave them a two-goal lead. That's the one they enjoy right now. We'll have more in a moment. minutes down at least 20 minutes to go what are your thoughts so far Toronto's got to feel lucky doc to still be in this game with 20 minutes or more to go offensively one fortunate bounce they're back in this game but in order to do that they need to be way better in their defensive zone that play went offside That's a face-off win. Onside. Back in his defensive end to get it. Gives it to the point. Right play, right pass up the right wing, and it's on his stick. Terrific save. Looking to Matthews. Pitching this one to Gardner. Enormous hit. Matthews didn't have anywhere to go, and he got smoked. His team is not very happy about this. Gains the blue line. Looks from the corner. Pass attempt to Crosby. Made him stumble. Now it's directed to Lupo. Side to side they go, trying to generate something. Oh, what a chance, what a save. One-timer, wonderful save of an all-star shot. Great stick work prevents the pass from being complete. Heading down low. Gets it back. Pittsburgh's carrying on up the wing. Kadri's been like a one-man game today. He's been all over the ice, and his number is all over the score sheet, too. 
That's a good solid hit. He'll feel that one. Thought he had 10 feet of clean ice. He only had five. There's the stop sign. Sticked away. Kicked out of the scrum. And possession seized by Kadri. Moving it to Hornquist. And that's icing. Murray's almost waiting for that shot on the 2 on one The defender made the pass go across, didn't allow it to come back, and the goalie's going to stop that all night. Over nine minutes off the clock here in the third. At this point, some good offense, some strong defense. Six goals, it's 4-2. We have a winner. Nicely into the zone. A whistle and a rest. The Leafs with a clean win on the draw. And the pickup. Shoots one. Missed. He doesn't miss it by much. He's right in the middle of the ice. He tries to bang it in off the goalpost and just misses. What a hit. Gets in, looks over his options here. Directed on. The redirect went wide. Oh, it was a good idea, though. Puck is thrown to Cole. Shoots one. Grabbed off by Codry. Toronto is setting things up. It's a thrown in. On to Brassard. He gets this one. A wonderful pass up the center of the ice. Drill. No luck. You talk about a heavy, hard shot. Unfortunately, it just missed. Snapping a pass to Marlowe. Gains the zone. Shoots. Outstanding save with a glove. Oh, if you're a shooter, you don't want to see the goaltender flash his glove like that. Puck loose. Good defensive play. Chip to Cole. Trying to go to Marlowe. in his own end. Great opportunity, but the pass didn't connect. Decides he wants the corner. Buck covered, whistle blown. The Stars are always a difficult team to play against, Doc, and they're up next on the schedule. They'll need to get a lot of pucks at the net early in this next one, get some big hits as well, and do anything to set the tone in their favor. And they've won that draw. Oh, deflected away. The leaves up the wing, lock the puck. Picks it up in his own end. Moving it on up the wing. Great job on a cut pass. Muscled off. Toronto's in their own end and in control of the puck. Hey, guys, he's trapped on the ice. He can't get off. He's hurt but he's going to have to choose. That shot glanced off the post. It's blocked. 41 left to go. He gains the zone. Toronto's pulling their goalie, saying, take a chance. Why not? Using the point. He's got it. A shot. Oh, that one hit someone on the way. Brings a shot. Great save at the edge of the crease. A missed opportunity from this close in. 50-50, Grand Finds winner. And attended will not collect your winnings. Well, this shift had to seem like an extra minute for him. He was banged up earlier on it. Still gets out to block the shot. Does not get any more dramatic than this. Four feet by six. Yawning open at one end, hoping for an advantage at the other. That is a large win by the defensive centerman. Congratulations to him. And Cash is in. Sherry's got the goal, and this game is over. Sayonara, that pretty well puts this one away.
the Leafs with a win at center. Into the attacking end. Assisted by number 71, Evgeny Malkin, by number Takes that pass. Hangs on to that one, and he'll see a face-off right near it. A backhand shot. Game over. Pittsburgh's got the win, and their winning streak keeps going. This team has been hot as of late. They're following their game plan. It's resulting in wins. That's it for another great night at a hockey rink. For Eddie and Ray, Doc saying good evening, everyone.